Okay, right, so thanks for tuning in. This is a question that I was asked quite a lot. Um, don't really see me as much now, don't do as much, but this is a question that I was asked quite a few times. Um, I might have answered briefly, but I never got into a lot of information about it. So we'll start off here. So the question a lot of people used to ask me is, what did I used to do for a living before I was a mere driver? Okay. So before I was a driver, I started a job back in 2012, 10 years ago. I know that because I was 28. Um, because that is actually when I learned to drive. That's right. I've only been driving for 10 years. So we'll start off with how I got started so straight away I was working with an agency called Hamilton Man in Liverpool um, overall I have some really good experiences with them I have be 100% honest they helped me out dramatically at the time when I was starting with them uh, I'll be honest I didn't have much to my name didn't have much money wasn't working long story cut short my ex-wife was suffering with postnatal depression um, I don't think it was more postnatal depression I think it was more she was she couldn't cope with my daughters which were who were absolute angels and i don't know how she didn't but anyway i didn't work uh, my life was looking after them girls that's what i'd done um loved it really loved looking after the girls but it got to a point where we had no money we weren't doing our normal things we weren't going abroad we you know we just basically on the bones of our arse so that was it i decided i need a job and a friend of ours advised me to get into care now my when i was in college when i was younger i did do uh, my level three in childcare in early years that's what i did focus on i did enjoy it but like i said it, it, it didn't go far due to me looking after my daughters so she gave me the name of this company, company Hamilton Man, and that's who we used to work for. To my knowledge, they are um, defunct now. They're not here anymore. They were based in Bootle, and I can remember the interview I had with them. It was, it was a Saturday. Yeah, it was a Saturday morning. I went in. It was around eleven o'clock. Um, Mm, who did they speak to? I think it was a gentleman called Mike, but I can't remember rightly. Yeah, I'm sure it was Mike. So he asked me a few questions. Um, some of them I actually struggled on answering because remember, I've never worked in care. This was a whole new thing for me. And he said, yeah, thanks for coming in. So I was in the lift going down, got on the main road. I actually smoked back then and smoked cigarettes. Mm -hmm and i was just walking home and i got a phone call bear in mind i just had the interview no more than five minutes ago and i had a phone call from them saying can you work tonight i said i can yeah that's fine i was a bit taken back to be honest with you like i said this was my first interview with them the questions were very vague i don't think i had done very well um i didn't have my um, um my dbs never had any qualifications at all in this kind of care um but i said yeah because i was thinking about the money at the time uh, like I said, once again I mentioned it before on the bones of my arse uh, I said, okay, yeah, that's fine. He said, I'll send you the details over, which he did. It was working in a care home over the water, um, working with adults with disabilities on a waking night. I said, to be honest, I think I'm going to struggle getting there. He said, don't worry about it. He said, send me your address over. 
and I'll come and pick you up, I'll drop you off, I'll give you a few quids so you can get home in the morning. I was like, okay, yeah, that, that works for me. Um, so he picked me up that evening. If I can remember rightly, it was an eight o'clock start. Picked me up in his car, took me to the police over the water. He gave me money. He said, that's your wages for tonight. And I was like, sound. I didn't have a problem with that. So I had a big bag for life with me. It had my Xbox in it, a couple of DVDs, a couple of games, uh, sandwiches as well. I made some sandwiches and drinks. Um, I went into this care home, introduced myself. They asked if I had my information with me. I said, sorry, I haven't, because this is what I was told to say. Just say, it's just... Um, you've got it you just haven't got it with you and the office will send it to you in the next week so that's what i said so i'm going to work in this care home I haven't got me dps dbs i can be an axe murderer or anybody knows but still i'm in this place um stupidly enough i look back at it now and i think what a stupid thing for me to do fancy something happened uh wouldn't be good at all but went in there they took me to this little room at the end, so we went into the building, went through a couple of doors, and it was like a big main room with a TV, sofas in there. Took me past there into another door, and there was another carer there. Um, for the life of me, I can't remember her name, but I was taking her off. She gave me a little background about the gentleman who was looking after. He was autistic. Um, he was ha he had rage, fits of rage sorry it's getting off we're getting late now past my bedtime fits of rage um uh, if he comes out not that he will they said that he said once he's down he's down don't worry about it um, but if he does just try and stay by the door talk to him softly so on and so forth so i was a bit like shit what am i getting myself into here and I'm thinking, have I bitten off a bit more than I can chew? And I was like, oh my God. So anyway, set myself up in the room, set my Xbox up, started playing the game for the life of me. I can't remember the game I played. I'm thinking that it wasn't a game, actually. I'm thinking I was watching a DVD. I could be wrong, but anyway. Done my first shift there, and it went swimmingly. I genuinely went swimmingly. The the young lad I was looking after didn't step foot out of his room. Um, did get told a bit of advice. I forgot this one by the lady who was working with. She said, "Make sure the curtains are shut. Uh, if you need to sneak out for the ciggy, um, make sure you don't switch the lights on." She says, "But make sure the curtains are shut." She said, um, the manager on charge does do a walk around. And she informed me, yeah, I do go to have a, have a little sleep by me. Yeah, it's not to worry about. But just make sure you put something by the front door, just in case she tries to sneak in. Put like a, a chair. So when she opens the door, it bashes the chair and it wakes you up. Uh, but to be honest, I was too uneasy to have a sleep. Um, because bear in mind, I don't, I hadn't even met this lad. To me, the way they made him sound, he, he was the Hulk. He was built like that, and he just had fits of rage. And I was like, nah, I need to be, be on my game here. So that was it. That, that was my first shift. Um, drinking cups of tea, or really coffee, and um, watch, watching DVDs. It was pretty easy. Next morning, um, I actually didn't get the train home there was a lady that lived Croxteth not too far from me so she gave me a lift round by his uh, by the showcase cinema and I made my way home fantastic um, and I thought to myself that's probably going to be a one-off because there's no way they're going to get me back no way on God's green earth they haven't got the paperwork for me um, Hamilton man didn't have the paperwork for me because there was none uh, even though they should have made sure all this was they had this 
because if there was an incident, it wouldn't have turned out well. But next night, I'm back in mid again. I'd got a phone call earlier on in the day uh, asking me to go back, and I ended up working in that place over the water for a good two weeks. Now, one of the shifts I done, I didn't wasn't in that bedroom, that little room which this gentleman had. Because it was great what he had. He had a bedroom, he had his own bathroom, and he had his own living area with kitchen. Uh, I wasn't in there. I was in the main part of it. Uh, that was no deal, no problem to me. So it, it, this manager, she was absolute hitler. She was a nasty lady. Um, she just like causing trouble. So it was freezing. I remember this because the door didn't shut properly. I'm sitting there with my hoodie on. All zipped up, lying on the couch, fetal position, watching them, um, watching East End. No, Emmerdale. I was watching Emmerdale. <laughs> and um, anyway, done that shift, done a couple of things, put some washing on, done what she told me to do. There was not much. Um, th- these people, they never woke up in the night time. There was no bother off them at all. But anyway, um, the next day, I uh, got a phone call from Hamilton Man asking me to come in so went in he said what did you do last night i went nothing they went well they don't want you back there i said why they went because you fell asleep i said i didn't fall asleep oh well this lady for the life of me i can't remember the name um said that you fell asleep i said i didn't fall asleep i said i know when you're talking about you come out I said, because I, I didn't even remember what I was watching. I said, I was watching um, Emmerdale. Emmerdale was on, and she was making her way to the kitchen. And I said, make us a, cu- a cup of while you're there, as a joke. And that was it. But anyway, no skin off their nose. They asked me to write down what happened, which it did do. And um, I thought, that's it. I'm done. I'm, I still don't even think I had a DBS at the time. Um but that was me done in the home. So that was fine. That was me done uh, my job, which had only just started working for the agency. That didn't last long, like I said, a couple of weeks. And I thought I was done in care. But there's more to come on that one. Anyway, that is me done on this part of the story. I'm going to do a couple of, a couple of these and I'll tell you how I started and where i went to in my care journey but that is me done for tonight thank you for watching i do appreciate it if you've got any problems if you want to get into care and you want some advice please let me know i'll give you as much little advice as i possibly can Uh, and thanks for watching and if you like what i do please subscribe